My state clunker's here, and I can't wait to build it up and get it ready for our challenge with all the other clunker riders out there. In case you didn't see the announcement of our state clunker challenge, a whole bunch of us are buying the exact same bike, a $399 clunker, and we're gonna go ride a trail on it with the exact same bike and see how much fun we can have. So today I just got it in and we're gonna build it up and get ready for that trip. So when I told State about my idea for all of us to ride the same bikes and have a challenge to see how much fun a brand new bike for $399 can be, they were totally on board and couldn't wait to see what we do with these. So I'm super thankful to them for sponsoring on this project. This is gonna be a fun series. All right, let's get this thing built up. This doesn't have a Walmart bike feel to it, despite being a Walmart bike price. The packaging looks super modern. All right, bolt-on axles. That is a massive chain ring. Uh, the paint actually looks surprisingly good. I got a little chip in it. It's about to see more chips as we ride this thing. Clunkers are so cool. They are the grandfather predecessor to the mountain bike and they have such a cool heritage. I highly recommend watching the Clunkers documentary on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you can go watch it. It'll give you a new appreciation for mountain biking and where it started. And that's our goal with this is to give a throwback to that and remember what it was like and connect and identify with our history and heritage in this amazing sport. I've never owned a clunker. I've never had a single speed coaster brake bike on a trail that I treated as a mountain bike. And I'm excited to try that to, like I said, reconnect with the roots of this amazing sport. And I also think you can have a ton of fun with an inexpensive bike if it's built properly. So this is gonna be a fun experiment. They say chrome won't get you home, but this chrome might, we'll see. Got a beer bottle opener here. Even though this is hardtail party, I don't drink. So I'm gonna pull that off. We got a threaded bottom bracket, which is awesome. Uh, square taper cranks, what do you expect for $3.99? A beefy chain, and we got WTB Vigilante tires on it, 27.5 by 2.3. I'll bet you could get 2.5s on here if you were crazy, but I think 2.3 will be perfect. No cables, no shifters, and the brake, you just pedal backwards, like when you were a kid. I'm actually really excited. Man, that's like a heck of a lot of revolution to break. Maybe I can kind of half ratchet up stuff. These are coming off. This bike doesn't really fit in a category or genre. It's a little bit BMX. It's a little bit mountain bike. It's a little bit ride down to the pub bike, ride to your classes and college bike. And I think that's what makes it cool. It's a little bit of everything. We have 36 spoke wheels. Oh, cool. We got rack mounts here. I'll bet we could run a rack on that if we wanted to. All right, let's see what else we got. This is beefy. Let's be honest, this is a ton of bike for $3.99. It's fun, these are only one size, so we're all on the same exact size bike. This is rad, I am excited. Here's a pro tip, WD-40 is actually a really good cleaner, and sometimes I'll use it to get sticker residue off before I switch to something a little bit stronger like Goof Off or Goo Gone like that. And right there, I just got the complete adhesive off, cool. 170 cranks, awesome. Let's put that seat in there, 28.6. The guys at State have a ton of style on every one of their builds. And I think that's why they sell so well. A, they're inexpensive, and B, <laughs> look at that. It just, it looks like a Brooks saddle. It's not, it's got the old school clamp on stuff we're used to seeing back in the day. But the look, it's it looks the part and State does a really cool job. The details of this challenge. Part one, we all ride the same exact bike, no modifications. Part two, we do a beautification upgrade where we paint it or make it look different. Purely cosmetic. Uh, step number three, the sky's the limit. You can modify it however you want. And then step four, we're gonna go ride our modifications and compare them. I'm probably gonna be cutting this seat tube. I need to take it on a couple test rides though. Here's a little tip, steel frame, aluminum post, 
you want to grease anytime steel and aluminum go together, they can uh, chemically combine and kind of rust together and fuse. So we always grease seat posts and stuff like that. I'm curious where I'm going to want to run this seat. Am I going to want it low like a BMX bike or high like a mountain bike? I don't think I'm going to be seated and pedaling this a whole lot. I applaud them for not getting cheesy. The bolts, the clamps, they all look like something you'd find on a bike from a bike shop. States carved out a really cool corner for themselves where they're a bike shop and their bikes feel like bikes, not bicycle shaped objects from a department store, but their department store prices, which is pretty amazing. Their motto is explore your state. And I love that. Get out and explore your state and use your state bicycle to do so. My brain's already thinking how I'm going to paint this. I'm excited. Pretty fun. This thing doesn't have a geo chart. It's all one size. It is what it is. And it kind of takes some of the entitled whining out of it. You just ride the bike. I know I can be picky about bikes in my reviews, but this is a good reminder to just get out and ride your bike. This is the Topeak Ratchet Sticks. I love this thing. Very useful. It's got all the bits in the handle, so I'm not running back and forth to the work stand. And it's got a ratchet on it, and I can stick the bit on this end, use it like a screwdriver. Super cool. Uh, it's already taking me back to simpler days, which is what clunkers are all about. So on less expensive bikes, handlebars and stems often slip and get worn. So I'm trying to be real careful here to not completely destroy this thing. And I'm going to torque this down good when I, when I get this lined up. This is red, bolt on front axle, Schrader valve, love that. I miss Schrader. I wish the whole mountain bike world was on Schrader, not Presta. Here's a little tip. These are vertical dropouts. If your axle is loose, they'll just fall right out. And so when I center these and put this on the bike, I set it on the ground so the weight of those forks is pushing down onto the axle. State has a really cool corner of the market. They have good looking, inexpensive bikes. And they've got everything from gravel bikes, to road bikes, to fixed gear bikes, to cruisers, to this clunker. And most of them are under $500 and they look good. This is their owner's guide and it actually has pictures of their bikes. It was actually built by a graphic designer, you can tell. It just looks really nice instead of that generic instruction booklet you get with every other bike that really tells you nothing. I'm pretty impressed state. All right, this is gonna be interesting. These pedals are uh, inexpensive pedals, just like you would expect. <laughs> the spindle's bent on this pedal. I can feel it already. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I hope it survives the ride. We shall see. All right, it's all built up. I'm excited to ride this thing. How much bike can you get for $399? This is how much. We've got name brand tires, which are super important to have good tires. Name brand grips, a knockoff looking saddle, square taper, spindle, threaded bottom bracket, coaster brake. We have a 42 tooth front chain ring and a 22 cog in the rear. Holy cow. This thing has a five year warranty on the frame and fork. That is impressive. There are no cables, no shifters, no dropper, no hand brakes. It's all done through the feet. Oh, I can't wait to <laughs> forget how to brake on a trail because it's been so long since I've ridden a coaster brake. This is going to be wild. We are going to have such a fun time. Now, normally in my first looks, I'd take a look at the weight and the geometry and all that stuff. I almost feel like measuring it and weighing it would do it a disservice because we're here to have fun on these things. And the whole point is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a 75 degree head angle. It doesn't matter if the chain stays a mile long. We're just going to go out and have fun and forget about the bike and enjoy time with each other. And I think I think we've lost that in the mountain bike world. We're so focused on little things, myself included. A millimeter here, a degree there. And truth be told, a great rider can ride any bike and make it fun. 
And the pioneers of mountain biking had a blast. They didn't have tubeless tires. They didn't have suspension. They didn't have droppers. And they still had fun anyway. And this is to remind us to do just that. So this thing's rad. It's a modern take on the clunker, the birth of the mountain bike, the OG mountain bike. What a simple machine. It's even got that old Schwinn clunker looking vibe to it. If you haven't seen the video on clunkers yet, make sure you watch that in the description below. That will give you a newfound respect to how mountain biking was born. This is going to be a riot and we're going to have so much fun. I hope you ordered one of these and I hope to see you at the meetup. I cannot wait. I'm going to put details about the meetup down below in the comments section. So if you have questions about it, that's the best place to hit me up about that. All right, there's one thing to do. Listen to the hubs. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.